Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and today I have a Christmas haul for you. So this is all the stuff that I'm gonna use like on my mantle, or in my living room, like on my council table, or on my TV stand, or just around the family room down here. So far, I have showed you my family room tree and my living room tree. I kind of did the trees first. I don't know if I always do that. I don't know. Anyway, so those kind of started it all. I'm gonna show you a Christmas haul here. Then after that, we'll have dobles and tear trays. And then you'll see like the living room and the family room, just the other decor. I have just kind of a collective haul. I have some Kirkland's, Target, Hobby Lobby, and an Amazon and an Etsy find. So oh, let's get to the haul. Let's start with the pillows first. Downstairs, I kind of went with like a Santa theme on my Christmas tree as I told you. I used all my Santa pillows down here and I also picked up the Santa head from Target and it's just the Wonder Shop and it's the $10 one and then it's Sherpa on the front and back. I already found a place for this so I'm super excited. The other one I grabbed for down here was this plaid printed one from Hearth and Hand. They do have this in like a 24 by 24 size but I just grabbed it in the 18 by 18 I think is what it is and it does have a removable cover so I grabbed two new pillows for the basement and then upstairs I did grab three pillows I have like green ones up there that I've had previously my tree is more as you saw if you watch it I'll have everything linked down below it is more just like all greens and browns but I wanted to incorporate red into the rest of my decor so I bought one pillow well actually I bought like three or four pillows and that's just for this project. I actually bought probably like 20 pillows and returned all of them but five. So yeah, I was on a pillow extravaganza this year I guess. So the one I grabbed for upstairs, this is just from the Threshold line I'm pretty sure, yeah. And this was a $25 pillow. Threshold rarely has their pillows go on sale unless they're clearance so it is what it is but it is a nice Sherpa one. It has the nice green, it has the browns and then it has the reds in there and it's just little cabins and little people like camping out and stuff which we used to always do the cabins in the summer so I just thought this would be fun. And then this has like a whole like bathroom kind of line with it too and then they do have more pillows like plaid ones and red ones. Another pillow in that same line, these plain ones are only 20, is this um, tree one. And they're kind of abstract. I keep looking at it and thinking it's upside down, but it's not. It just, <laughs> some of them make it look that way. They also had a lighter green one with little like yarned on Christmas trees with like, it looked like a little gold detail on the Christmas trees. But I have that lighter green and just some regular pillow covers I got off of Amazon. So I went with this one just to have a little more pop of green and trees and this is so versatile to use anywhere and then I also grabbed this snowflake pillow from Hobby Lobby it is just so squishy I couldn't resist and this was um, $12.50 with the 50% off and it just has some, well it's like embroidered but it's like that chunky embroidery snowflakes. I thought this was just a good versatile pillow to always use wherever I would like to, you know, and I can just incorporate it with any color. And I figured I could maybe leave it out for like winter time. I grabbed one of the big ones from Kohl's so I did have one thing from Kohl's and it just has like pine leaves on it and pine cones and then a few little berries on there. We do have a couple spots on the couch upstairs that we like to have a blanket that the dogs kind of lay on. So I kind of bought that for that where they'd have a cozy blanket and then they're not on the couch as much. Let's do greenery next. I have mostly from Target, a few Kirkland's and one Hobby Lobby. So I did grab one of these Studio McGee trees. This is the medium size one. I want to say it's 40 inches. So it just has a little wicker base. They have a small one and then a one even bigger than this. I want to say it's 60 inches. I had all three because I just didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know if I wanted to put them in a grouping of three. And I ultimately decided I just like the medium one. That's what originally I thought was I just like the medium one. So I am going to put this on my dresser in our bedroom just for a little Christmas in there. The second tree I got is just one of their little $10 ones from the Wonder Shop. And it smells like chlorine, kind of. So hopefully that'll just air out. But this is for Nick's room. And then I just bought this little metal black tree collar. He really likes like red, white, and black. That's kind of like his theme colors, you know, if you have theme colors. I got this for his little office man room because the tree I used in there last year, I think I'm going to put outside. I'll just show you the tree. And I think he wants like just a couple little tchotchkes on his desk down there. So it's a little festive for him. I got two of these. Oh, 
like fluffy pine and they are just a real nice fluffy feeling this is threshold five dollars i got two of them these have been going in and out of stock you'll just have to watch they keep saying my store has some but i haven't seen them these i ordered because i thought the store had them and then they didn't so then i got to ship them and they came in a box like this big one of them one why won't they why would they send those together? That's just the craziest thing to me, how Target packs their stuff. I think they want to get it to you as fast as they can, but like, dude, seriously? <laughs> so I did pick up two of those, and then I also picked up two of these. This is more of a cedar stem from Hearth and Hand. I just wanted to try something different. I don't have a lot of the cedar. I have most of like kind of the pine branches, but I wanted to do some cedar down here in the basement. And I also got the garland to match. Picked up two of these and these were $4.99. Here's the garland. Mine is just the like five foot or six foot. I think they have a really big one like this, or I want to say Studio McGee has a big one. I'm not sure how much this was, and I'm pretty sure it's hearth and hand. It came just in this like white box with really no label on it. So this is for like the mantle, and then I bought the other cedar stuff for like, another little arrangement down here. And then I also grabbed one of these little cedar and berry wreaths. They only had one at my store that I found. This is $12.99. I thought about putting it in like this bowl thing I have upstairs, but I think I'm going to do something different with that. So I'm not sure where this will get used or if it will get used. Since I had bought the other cedar, I just thought I would grab this too just to see at a place I wanted to use it. The last greenery from Target is just this little pick. This was $3. You get three little like pine picks. They're nice and soft. They had like frosted ones and berries and maybe one more kind of arrangement. But like this is dollar spot prices. Three of them for $3. And they had wreaths and little arrangements and these. These are just good to like stick in little like faces, tear trays, dough bowls, and they are the Threshold brand. So last year I had picked up one of the Norfolk Pine Garlands from Kirkland on a great sale like, like two summers ago. And then last year I just didn't find a place to use it like on a mantle. It just was like too much and too big. I was like, okay, that'll work perfect on my railings or my banisters or whatever you want to call. So I did mess around with the one that I had up on the banister. I think I figured out how it's going to work. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off. Okay, I got two more at Kirkland's. I've been watching them go in and out of stock. Like all summer I was waiting for like their summer special again. They really think I might have got them fairly early when they had a pretty good sale. I think the 15 foot one they have would have worked probably pretty nice for my like stairs and then it goes up around into my living room. But I think these will work also. So is this big like thing like why is this so big and heavy duty so the one I was messing with last night I did unclip it and like cut it like right here so it's just like a little smaller chunk I kind of want to cut it more because it's just big and ugly and in the way and I don't know why this is like what what's this for people tell me what's this for what I have noticed like you get these on a good price and everything but they're kind of skimpy <laughs> like they're not like super full so it there is that but i have two more so we got to do the stairs and then up around by my council table here's the other one and when i put it on first because of course i did it twice and i used zip ties uh, i think it was upside down if that's possible let me know if it's possible for that thing to be upside down because i really thought it was so then when i wanted to flip it the other way the, that like big loop had to be on the other end and that's what prompted me to cut it so I'm probably an idiot for cutting it, but it is what it is right now. And then I also grabbed two of the stems from Kirkland. Funny story, not funny story, lucky story. I saw online that they had the ones with berries. So I just put in a pickup order to get two of those with berries. And then when I got there, I saw them and I was like, hmm, they're not really what I was looking for. But they had two of the regular ones sitting in one of their buckets. So I like found these in the wild at Kirkland. So I just asked the lady to cancel my berry order and then I bought these. I have two, one was in the bag, one was not, of these just regular Norfolk pine stems. 
stems. I kind of redid my council table so I kind of have a big vase up there now. So that's what I was thinking in the vase, but it is right next to the railing. So we'll see what happens, but I'm super excited to have these. One thing nice I noticed about that, that all these like little stems are bendable. All the like middle part has like wire in it. So you can really get it to be where you want it, which is super fun. And I think these are like a good fullness, but like it's a good fullness for me. I don't need more than that. We use our railings. I don't need people ripping stuff off. I could see if you want to do one of those big full mantles. I was watching on YouTube and somebody used like six of them for their mantle to get it like big and full. Six. That's, they're like five feet each. That's 30 feet. And they're buying them full price at $40. <laughs> That's like $240. Now if they're getting them on sale, I think a lot of times they'd go down to 30. So that's $180. I don't know. It just seemed, <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna go for the sparse look. Like we're just gonna leave it at that. And then the last green right item I picked up was just this little frosted wreath. Once again, I was thinking like one of my like circle-y like dough bowls, but I did kind of figure out something else. So we'll see if this ends up someplace or if it ends back up at Hobby Lobby. Let's move on to trees, but not greenery trees. So the Wonder Shop put out this year three different like mercury glass trees. So they have gold, silver, and then these are bronze or they're a cop. They're either bronze or copper, but they're just brown basically. Two different sizes. One's 20, one's 15, but these have a timer on them. That is the first time I've ever seen one of these light up trees, even back in the Wonder Shop, that has a timer on them. It's just your standard timer, like six hours on, 18 hours off. I really wish they would have had some green ones. That's kind of what I wanted. The at-home store did have some green ones, but no timer. I don't remember to turn things on and then I have to go back and turn them off at the end of the day. And I'm like, I just don't want to do that. So timers are perfect for me. This one like jingles, but I think it's just the string lights in there. So we're going to see if I can find a spot for this. These were what I was thinking. I don't know if I'm going to do them upstairs with my like more green and brown or if I'm going to do them down here. So I don't know. So these are kind of like, let's figure out where they fit, okay? And it's, I really don't need more trees, but they have a timer. And then I did grab one of their brown um, flock trees with like the ridges on it. And I just thought this was beautiful. Of course, this is for like upstairs to kind of go with the brown on my tree. They have this in tons of colors. I grabbed the brown just for like something different. And also the brown would probably look work well for winter. Also, you know, kind of like the browns, the whites. I've done blues and greens, a woodsy winter, you could say. So this would be good for that where it's not like overly Christmas. And then the other two trees I picked up were these what's it say tapered tree green small so this is 10 and i believe this was 15 yeah i believe these are the studio mcgee line but they're clear they have open bottoms so you could easily put like, some sort of candle or shove up there some fairy lights just shove them up there they look are coming off really like dark on camera which they're they're dark but not like that dark. So I really like these. These are also I thought down here or upstairs kind of thing and I will probably put some sort of light in them. I have my little like candle lights I could try but more than likely I was thinking kind of shoving some fairy lights up there. <laughs> One other thing I picked up from Target. I got these online. It's just a two count of green taper candles from Threshold. I'm not sure how much these are. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, probably even Walmart, but I just thought they're just the nice like smooth taper candles and I do have some candlesticks on my console table now or I thought these would look good down here like with that gold candle holder I got from Decor Steel. I'm just kind of into like putting out a little more colored candles and not always my white ones now. I know I'm not going to use these on the railings because right but I did buy this for the mantle down here. I do hang my stockings on the mantle. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this, but I have a couple different garlands. The bell one, I have a felt ball one, and then I have that cedar one, and I wanna try to work that in all together somehow down here. But.
His little dinger has a kink in it. These are from Hobby Lobby. $5 when they're 50% off. Two other items I got from Hobby Lobby were the Naked Nutcrackers. I grabbed the big one with the staff and then the smaller version with the little drum. These are the craft ones. I looked at all like the painted ones and they didn't have any stained ones and I sort of like the dark stained wood. But I also added some just like natural wood on my Christmas tree down here. So I thought it'd be fun just to use them as is. In the future I could paint paint them if I wanted them or stain them or something like that. And these are comparable in price to the other ones with all the 50% off. These might be a little cheaper, but if you were to paint them about the same price then. I did grab two of these and I'm definitely thinking mantle. So it's going to be kind of a fun, I don't know. Got Santa Claus down here. I have his nutcrackers. So we'll see how it comes out. I have lots of thoughts. It'll probably look ridiculous and I'll change the way I do it all. So last year at the end of Christmas, I was watching Amazon and a few different stockings and I did grab these at the end of last year. They are kind of, you know, having a better sale on it than they did before Christmas. They came in a pack of six and I want to say for like 20-ish dollars. So if you're looking for like these knit ones, I know they have nice ones like Hearth and Hand, Studio McGee, even just Target, High Lobby, Lobby you know check out Amazon see if they have anything you would like on there so they're just kind of a nice you know ivory I won't say they're cream maybe a little cream and then of course we had to have our names I went on Etsy and this is the harp and timbrel shop and she had a bunch of little wood items so i just have little names and that's just kind of a natural wood i thought they were going to be a little darker but i'm okay with this and then i think i'm gonna hang some red velvet ribbon kind of the skinny stuff and then maybe a larger green one i haven't decided if i want to get like same size green or just a little bit larger green like all those little sprigs you see for presents like from hearth and hand you could probably like put that in there in the loop too i'm already gonna have like greenery on the Thing. so I think I'm just gonna do ribbons you could hang those bells that are on there you could hang one of those on them also just take it off that garland I know you can get those bells on Amazon and all over different sizes of ones like that also so that's kind of my thought for my stockings this year I do have blanket ladders and I know people have hung them on there but I just really love my hearth and hand little stocking holders I got they're the rectangle ones that are like front to back they don't go like side to side on yours so I can really get them kind of squished together or I can put them half and half. We do have an electric fireplace so I just kind of got to watch where the switches are and make sure I'm not kind of in front of that vent. Well that is all I have for my decor haul. As always some of this might go back because I haven't decorated yet. I know the pillows won't since I bought so many I narrowed that down right away and I hope you got kind of an idea of what's out there what I'm gonna use. I've kind of already shared my plans a little bit when I was doing my trees and stuff but this kind of gives you a little bit more idea of what I'm gonna do in the family room and the living room room. The kitchen is going to be a different one. I, I have a theme in there that I kind of want to do but not like overly theme it. I like themes but not overly theme it. I will share that with you here after we get the living room and the family room decorated and that's it. <laughs> so thanks for watching. As always hit that like button subscribe and I will see you in the next one.